As the war goes on, the refugee crisis is growing. The U.N. estimates roughly 10 million people are either displaced inside Ukraine or have fled to other countries in search of safety. Many of them have ended up in Slovakia. ABC News foreign correspondent Maggie Ruli is in Košice, Slovakia, with more on that. And Maggie, Slovakia is a pretty small country, and yet it has taken in about 250,000 people. How are they handling that? Well, Diane, that's sort of the big issue here is, yes, it's taken in maybe fewer refugees than, say, Poland, uh, but the number of people actually even living in Slovakia is much smaller. And so uh, you know, when you look at the ratio, it's been incredible for Slovakia to take in a quarter of a million people, uh, trying to welcome them, process them through their country. Slovakia also doesn't have the kind of resources that Poland has. So they've been left scrambling, trying to keep up with this influx of people. You know, we heard from the mayor of Kosice. He even said that uh, they're at capacity right now, declaring a state of emergency just a couple of weeks ago. But Dan, that's when they really started investing in this crisis. You see all these tents behind me. This is sort of a hot spot area. So refugees coming off the border are sent to a place like this. One tent, you know, we can see the signs. One tent's for food, one tent's for toiletries, one tent's for pets. Uh, just a few moments ago, there were kids playing behind me that had games and toys and resources. Uh, so it's really been all hands on deck. And it's incredible to witness, Diane, just the speed with which this country came together. Again, a small country with limited resources came together so quickly to help their neighbor. And Maggie, Slovakia used to have a very strict asylum policy, but when Russia invaded Ukraine, they changed their rules practically overnight. How did that work and how are those changes impacting what's happening there now? Well, that's what's been incredible. I mean, traditionally, Slovakia isn't somewhere that a lot of refugees came from uh, because of that very strict asylum policy. But yeah, once the invasion happened, practically overnight, they changed that rule. You know, we were just in inside the arena here that's been turned uh, into this amazing system where there's tons of computers set up. Any Ukrainian that crosses that border, even without paperwork, uh, can apply for this temporary refuge status where they're given things like health care. They can uh, help find a job. Their kids can go to school. So people are really being well welcomed with open arms. And what's interesting, Diane, is to see how this plays out going forward. You know, right now the numbers have slowed down coming into Slovakia. They're still seeing thousands every day, but it's very orderly. But we've been told that there's actually tens of thousands of people waiting just on the other side of the border to see what happens in this war. And as this war uh, keeps moving further and further west, we're expecting more people to cross into Slovakia. Now they have these, these hotspots set up. They have the infrastructure in place for temporary refugee status. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how they keep up with more and more people. Uh, so far, it's just been incredible to witness how welcoming everyone's been. And Maggie, I know you've talked to some of these refugees. Are there any stories that really stick out to you? Oh, I know, Dan. We've heard from so many people. We were just in Lviv where we met uh, people trying to flee the country, coming over here into Slovakia, seeing them sort of on the other side. It's been incredible. We were at a place near the train station just yesterday. We met one family all the way from Donetsk. That's in the eastern portion of Ukraine. It's been so hard hit during this war. Uh, we spoke with the family. They had three little kids. And uh, there was actually a balloon man that had been set up just outside the train station. And he gave the girl a flower, seeing the joy of where she was now. Uh, it was just incredible, Diane. All right, Maggie Ruli in Slovakia for us. Thanks, Maggie. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.